Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. In today's video, we are going to study Pharmacology MCQs. 10 multiple choice questions from Pharmacology. Okay, so let's begin. The first question is, Neostigmin is mainly used in Neostigmin is mainly used in Options are Option A. Urinary retention Option B. Myasthenia gravis Option C. Glaucoma Option D. None of the above So the question is Neostigmin is mainly used in The correct answer for this question is Option B. Myasthenia gravis Myasthenia gravis Okay Now we will discuss about this uh, question what is myasthenia gravis? Myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune disorder. It is an autoimmune disorder due to the development of antibodies against nicotinic receptor. Okay, it is an autoimmune disorder due to the formation or due to the development of antibodies against nicotinic receptor, resulting in the res reduction of number of free NM receptors. The number of free NM cholinoreceptors will be lower in case of myasthenia gravis due to the development of antibodies against nicotinic receptor. This is an autoimmune disorder. Okay, that's the myasthenia gravis. The drug which is used for the treatment of myasthenia gravis is neostigmine. Okay, one of the one of the drug which is used against myasthenia gravis is neostigmine. Why? Because it is acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. Neostigmin is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor or choline esterase inhibitor. It will inhibit the enzyme choline esterase. By the inhibition, it increases the acetylcholine and it improves the muscle contraction. Okay, now you understood. Hope you understood this mechanism. Neosigmin is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. It will inhibit choline esterase enzyme or acetylcholine esterase enzyme and it increases the acetylcholine or it releases the acetylcholine and improve the muscle contraction. That is the mechanism behind it. One another important point regarding this question or when we are talking about myasthenia gravis in our mind it will come edrophonium test what is edrophonium test edrophonium test is used to differentiate between myasthenia gravis and cholinergic crisis edrophonium test is used to differentiate between myasthenia gravis and cholinergic crisis both disorder have almost same symptoms like uh, weakness of muscles. So how we can differentiate between, between uh, myasthenia gravis and cholinergic crisis? When edrophonium is injected into the patient, then if there is an improvement, then that is myasthenia gravis improvement in the condition of the patient. If there is the worsening of the condition of patient, then that is cholinergic crisis. Both are different. Okay. Now we are moving to the next question. Question number two, pharmacodynamics deals with the study of options are mechanism of action, option B, elimination of drug, option C, toxic effect of drug, option D, metabolism of drug, pharmacodynamics, the correct answer is option A, mechanism of action of drug. Okay, what about pharmacokinetics? Pharmacokinetics deals with ADME of drug. ADME, that's absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion of the drug. That is pharmacokinetics. Here the question is pharmacodynamics, that is deals with the study of mechanism of action of drug. Question number three. Barbiturates causes death at toxic dose due to barbiturates cause Death at toxic dose due to options are cardiac arrest, option B liver damage, option C depression of respiration, option D all of the above. Barbiturates causes death at toxic dose due to cardiac arrest, liver damage, depression of respiration, option D all of the above. The correct answer is option C due to depression of respiration 
barbiturates causes deaths at toxic dose question number 4 in alcoholism which of these drug is used in alcoholism or in chronic alcoholics which of these follow which of the following drug is used options are disulfiram option b methanol option c barbituric acid option d none of the above disulfiram methanol barbituric acid none of the above the correct answer is option a disulfiram disulfiram what is disulfiram disulfiram is an aldehyde dehydrogenase inhibitor it is an enzyme inhibitor the enzyme inhibitor of aldehyde dehydrogenase it inhibits aldehyde dehydrogenase that is when a person taking ethyl alcohol this ethyl alcohol is converted into acetaldehyde by the action of alcohol dehydrogenase this acetaldehyde formed is again converted into acetic acid or acetate by the action of aldehyde dehydrogenase this aldehyde dehydrogenase is inhibited by disulfiram so the formation of acetate is blocked from the acetaldehyde so there will be higher concentration of acetaldehyde in the body higher concentration of acetaldehyde in the body causes aldehyde syndrome that is aldehyde syndromes include visual disturbance vomiting headache mental confusion then uh, burning sensation etc all are coming under this aldehyde syndrome so acetaldehyde higher level of acetaldehyde causes this syndrome so the person will rethink about the alcohol now we are going to the next question question number five aldomet is common brand name for aldomet is common brand name for options are option a methyl dopa option b doxylamine option c triamterine option d captopril the question is about aldomet aldomet is the correct answer is option a methyl dopa Aldomet is the brand name for methyl dopa. Question number six: Large volume of fluids are administered by large volume of fluids are administered by which of the following route? Option A: intramuscular route. Option B: subcutaneous route. Option C: intravenous route. Option D: none of the above. Large volume of fluids are administered by the correct answer is IV route. That is intravenous route. Large volume parenterals are administered through intravenous route. Question number seven. Leptazole is a stimulant of. Leptazole is a stimulant of. Options are cerebral cortex. Option B, spinal cord. Option C, brain stem. Option D, all the above. Leptazole is a stimulant of. Cerebral cortex, spinal cord, brain stem, all the above. The correct answer is leptazole is a stimulant of brain stem. Option C is the correct answer. Question number eight, in Parkinsonism, there is a deficiency of, in Parkinsonism, there is a deficiency of, options are dopamine, option B, serotonin, option C, norepinephrine, option D, all the above. These questions are important multiple choice questions, so you may get this question in your coming pharmacist exam or any pharmacist competitive exams. So you have to study very well. Here in this question, in Parkinsonism, there is a deficiency of. The correct answer is option A, dopamine. Dopamine is deficient in Parkinsonism. That's why we are giving levodopa in Parkinsonism. Okay, levodopa is a drug which is used in Parkinsonism. So there is a deficiency of dopamine in Parkinsonism. Next question, question number nine. Stevens Johnson syndrome is associated with. Stevens Johnson syndrome is associated with penicillin. Siphonosporin, sulfonamides, erythromycin. Okay, Stevens Johnson syndrome is an adverse effect of which of the following antibiotic? The correct answer is sulfonamides. Sulfonamides causes Stevens Johnson syndrome. Question number 10 The drug of choice in status epilepticus. Drug of choice in status epilepticus. Options are chloral hydrate, option B diazepam, option C chlordiazepoxide, option D phenytoin. Drug of choice in status epilepticus. Correct answer is option B diazepam. Diazepam is the correct answer. That is the drug of choice during status epilepticus. Now we will study different type of seizures and its 
drug of choice or first choice of drug. In case of generalized tonic-clonic seizure, that is shortly GTCS, generalized tonic-clonic seizure, simple seizure and complex partial seizure. What are them? Generalized tonic-clonic seizure, simple partial seizure and complex partial seizure. The drug of choice is carbamazepine. Okay? Carbamazepine is the drug of choice during generalized tonic-clonic seizure, simple partial and complex partial seizure. In case of AMA, that is atonic seizure, myoclonic seizure and absent seizure, the drug of choice is valproate or valproic acid, sodium valproate, okay? AMA, that is absent seizure, myoclonic seizure and atonic seizure, the drug of choice is valproate. In case of febrile seizure and in case of status epilepticus, the drug of choice is diazepam. In case of febrile seizure, Diazepam rectal route is preferred. Okay. So AMA, valproate is the drug of choice. In case of GTCS and simple and complex partial seizure, the drug of choice is carbamazepine and febrile seizure and uh, status epilepticus. Diazepam is the drug of choice. Hope you understood these questions. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any query regarding these questions, you can ask in the comment section. If you like this video, please make thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you will get the notification whenever I upload new videos. Thank you.